What is going on guys? It is Roman. Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are out here vibing, making the most out of your time, and holy heck, it has been a long time since I've said that. <laughs> I have not uploaded in like, I don't know, two, three minutes or so. <laughs> it's been about two to three months since I've uploaded, and there's been a couple reasons for that, and so I'm going to address those right now. Okay, so, uh, reason number one. I lost motivation. <laughs> like, just to be completely honest, I was unmotivated for a long time. <laughs> Even that last video I uploaded, I had uploaded it a while, but I uploaded unlisted because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it. It was kind of like a backup video in case something didn't work out and something didn't work out. And that was the only backup video that I had. And so once it got uploaded, I had nothing to fall back on. <laughs> But, you know, things come and go as, as they do. Desires to do different things, they come and go. And that was kind of how this was for a while. Now, in this time frame, my love for film and creating, it, it, it was still there. But at the same time, I kind of lost track of what it is I wanted to do. I got more in the mindset of I'm uploading for people and I'm not creating for me, if that makes sense. And so that is why I kind of took this hiatus. And another reason is school. I am currently in my senior year on the tail end of high school, and I'm also finishing up my Associates of Applied Science uh, in film, actually, so that's exciting. Um, but all that put together between high school and college on top of that is kind of, how do I say this? Um, it's a lot. <laughs> doing all my high school stuff and doing all of my college courses and just work piling on top of each other and semester long projects and a bunch of other things that I won't bore you with. All those things added up make for kind of a stressful last semester. <laughs> so as much as I don't enjoy school and education and going to a brick and mortar, I guess you could say, school has to come first right now, at least until May, it's when I graduate. And oh my gosh, that cannot come soon enough. I mean, right off the bat after I graduate, one or two weeks later, I will be flying to New York with a few friends and oh, I. <laughs> I am so excited. <laughs> New York has been on the top of my list of places to go for years now. And, and I, that's not an exaggeration. That is, that is the truth. <laughs> like I've wanted to go to New York for a very, very long time. I think freshman year is when I decided that New York is where I was going to go first when I could. That was before the beard. And I was a, <laughs> I was a, I was a thick boy. Let me just tell you. Not to say that I'm not now, but th this guy. That boy was thick. <laughs> anyway, all jokes aside, New York has been just my top destination for a while, and I'm just such a big fan of of just tall buildings and exploration and architecture and just big cities in general, and New York has always had my attention because of a few of those things. And not to mention the fact that I am insanely, insanely excited to take some photos and to, and to film for you guys because I am so ready to be back in front of the camera and to document again and again and keeping my focus on why I'm doing this rather than some false skewed um, mindset, if that makes sense. So I will be going to New York at the end of May and it's just gonna be a great time and I'm so excited to bring you guys with me. Um, but that brings me to my next topic. I am currently writing and working on this story documentary thing, kind of, I don't know. It's not gonna make much sense right now because I, <laughs> I can't really explain too much or say too much because I wanna keep it under wraps for right now. But I can tell you that it was inspired by the Five Feet Apart film. <sighs> I'm gonna try not to cry when I'm talking about this. That movie. Oh my gosh, that movie was, that movie moved me so much. Like, uh, first of all, I had no idea what CF was. Um, and my mom, she's actually a nurse and she's worked with CF patients before. And so the fact that I didn't know about that kind of surprised me. Um, but, if you don't know what cystic fibrosis is, I will give you a little bit of information. Uh, you can also read this right here and it will tell you a heck of a lot more than I can. Uh, but basically, in its simplest terms, cystic fibrosis is a genetic terminal illness that people are born with. Um, and what it does is it causes mucus buildup in someone's lungs to where different bacteria and things get trapped in that mucus and unlike our bodies, 
their bodies can't reject that bacteria because it is stuck uh, in the mucus. And of course, there are some more details that you can also gather from reading this right here. But that's just kind of a brief little bit of information that I can give you. But after watching that movie and, and doing research after seeing it and just really looking into this illness, you know, I began to realize how much I've personally taken for granted in this life. You know, people with CF, they don't live as long as other people do. Um, but even with that information, they go and they live full lives. You know, they're not defined by their illness. You know, things aren't always easy, but they don't let their conditions tie them down. They don't just give up, they keep fighting and they keep living, you know, regardless of their life expectancy. And that is such a beautiful thing. You know, we are just so blessed to be able to go and live life and enjoy it for as long as we do. And people with CF, they don't have all the opportunities that we might have. You know, some of them might not be able to marry or have children, but they still, they just live such full lives and that is so inspiring to me. And it made me realize, you know, just how much we are blessed with. And that really, it just really stood with me. And Cole Sprouse and Haley Lou Richardson, their performances are phenomenal. You can tell that they are just so passionate about this subject that is cystic fibrosis. And Justin Baldoni, the director, it's just, wow. It's just such an incredible film and I recommend you go see it. It is such a beautiful story and it brings such beautiful awareness to the cystic fibrosis community. So go see it, uh, bring a box of tissues, you will cry. <laughs> but what brought that whole tangent on was what I am currently working on, this project that I'm working on, was inspired by that movie. I'm just really keeping it under wraps right now because I'm finalizing the script and the idea that I am putting towards this project. And don't ask for any leaks or spoilers because I will not be giving them. Understood? I will be updating you guys with more information uh, when I can about this project, but I am so excited and I hope you guys really will love it because it has such good potential. I'm really hoping that I can um, achieve that potential. Okay, so that is enough for me. We are going to go, 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 go do something. I think I'm gonna go train with my friend Johnny. Gonna go do some uh, free running and parkour stuff, I think. Maybe, if he uh, gets whatever work he's doing done. So we might not be going. <laughs> but that is the plan. So that is where this is probably gonna cut to. If it doesn't, this is gonna be kinda awkward. So we're gonna hope that's what it cuts to. All right, see you guys there. <laughs> All right, so you know how I said it would be awkward if uh, that last clip didn't transition into the one where I'm with Johnny? <laughs> well, it's awkward. <laughs> All right, so basically what happened was Oh, let's fix that. Sorry, that would just bother me while I'm editing this. <laughs> so basically, I didn't realize how much time I had taken talking with those last uh, many minutes that you just watched. <laughs> and with that, I don't want this video to be super long, but it kind of already is because of all the talking that I felt like I had to do for some reason. <laughs> And sorry if my eyes look puffy, I just watched Five Feet Apart for the fourth time and I, I cried again. <laughs> More than last time and it's, woo. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I will be using that footage that I shot with Johnny sometime in a future video if I remember to put it in. But this video is gonna end here, so I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you guys had a good time. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You guys know the drill, we've been doing this for how many years now? <laughs> so, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm excited to be back. I can't promise when the next upload will be, however, uh, just because of everything that's going on as far as school and everything that I mentioned before. But my next upload will be in less than three months, I promise. So we'll see you guys later. Take care.